This is Info Live TV headline news, May 13th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Hamas leaders in Gaza say that abducted IDF soldier Gilad Shalit will not be included in a truce deal with Israel. While Egyptian mediators and Israeli officials had hoped to secure the release of Shalit in a truce agreement, the militant group insisted that Shalit remain a separate issue. Israel has agreed to remove four West Bank roadblocks and ease restrictions in eight others as a part of a new agreement aimed at improving the lives of Palestinians. Middle East envoy Tony Blair unveiled the new agreement today between Israel and Palestinian Authority at a press conference in Jerusalem. Defense Minister Ehud Barak visited Moshav Yesha today, where 70-year-old Shula Katz was killed yesterday by a Qassam rocket. Residents of the Moshav asked Barak to provide an effective response to the security threat posed by the constant barrage of rockets and mortar shells fired from the Gaza Strip. In Jerusalem, preparations for the arrival of U.S. President George W. Bush and other foreign dignitaries went into high gear today. Thirteen heads of state and 3,500 other guests are arriving to Jerusalem to attend President Shimon Peres' three-day presidential conference. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad said Tuesday that Israel would soon be swept away by the Palestinians. It is the second time within the past three years that the Iranian president has expressed his desire for the eradication of the Jewish state. Tensions mount for the Israeli Cup final between Beitar Jerusalem and Hapoel Tel Aviv. The match will take place at the Ramat Gan Stadium and begins at 8 p.m. tonight. For the latest in sports news, please tune in to our daily sports update at InfoLive TV. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.